Okay, today we're going to do some polarity yoga. Polarity yoga. So polarity yoga. Uh, I always emphasize the proper posture again. Uh, the head is lifted like a healing balloon. Underarms are open. The spine is straight. Pelvis tucked forward. Chin tucked in. Head is lifted like a healing balloon. The spine is simply dangling below like a string on a healing balloon. So first polarity exercise we're going to do today is uh, the squat. And so the squat, basically, um, your toes are straight ahead rather than uh, pointed out. So your toes are straight ahead and then you're going to uh, come down and as you come down, again your, your toes are straight ahead or pointed inward slightly, and as you come down, you're going to keep your head floating and lifted as you bend your knees down. So you want to do this as comfortably as possible. So you come down and you can place your hands on your uh, legs. And then, uh, so we're down into a squat and you want to go down to a squat as far as you can comfortably. If you can't go down far, uh, that's fine. Go where you can and uh, work at your own pace. So at this point, uh, we want to make sure the back is straight and the head is still floating. Uh, so the polarity yoga was developed by Dr. Randall Stone, uh, DC. And so at this point, what I wanted to do is have you try and plant your heels on the ground. So if you can, that's good. Always keep your back straight. Be consciously aware of your back being straight. Okay, so, so so we're not bending over. At this point, we're just keeping the spine straight and lifted. And then, so what we want to do is bring the arms around the outside of the legs, and then clasp the hands together and grab your wrist on one side, and then push out with the legs, so you get a nice kind of dynamic uh, stretch there. And then now, now try and relax in the position and then just feel the muscles that you just used. You can feel the increased circulation in the muscles you just used. And now we're going to, to uh, bring the hands in the inner thighs and then we're going to uh, push at, in with the legs and then sort of push out with the arms. But keeping the back straight again and the chins tucked in and then you can rock gently uh, as you do this exercise. Okay, now feel the muscles you just used. And also there's some uh, acupoints points on the arm you can uh, articulate and as well on the hand or hands. So the next one is simply uh, grabbing the, the neck and then allowing the gravity to pull down. And you can also rock when you pull down. And then back up. And so the next one is you cross your hands or clasp your hands and you bring your thumbs up and then massage underneath the jaw, the ridge of the jaw, and then also underneath the bottom lip, and then top lip, and then eyebrows, under the eyebrows. All the major acupoints points are on the forehead, and all the major acupoints points uh, sort of go, uh, are accessible through the forehead. And then we'll take uh, the ears and then we'll massage the ears and the back of the neck. 
and top of the head, we're patting gently on the back of the neck. And then coming up, as, as you come up, you want to make sure that your back is straight and your head leads the movement with the chin tucked in. Check the posture, feel the increased circulation in the muscle you just used. So now in this position, what we're going to do is listen for the cosmic sound current. This is a vibration that is in the background of everything. If you're in a place where there's no noise, you may be able to hear sort of a humming background vibration. Uh, it's also known as the Schumann frequency, the Schumann wave. It's the frequency of the earth. So we want to tune in to the sound. A subtle vibration in the background of everything. It's sort of like, almost like a ringing sound. So you want to tune into that as you're aware of your posture in alignment. Okay, so the next bloody exercise we're going to do is uh, the crisscrosser. So you're going to crisscross your hands uh, and as you stand your knees again are slightly bent. The head is lifted. And you're going to crisscross your hands, alternating the hands crisscrossing. And so from here what we're going to do is uh, inhale and then exhale. As you exhale you're going to bring your hands back and at the same time, as you exhale, you're going to leave a, a breath and you're going to jump slightly. So it's sort of uh, elongate the spine, sort of gives a, sort of a gentle uh, stimulation to the spine to sort of elongate. So from here, we're going to inhale and then exhale. Pop. Okay, again, so crisscrossing. Inhale, nice deep breath, and exhale. Pop. And then relax. Check the posture. Nice straight. Arching the lower back pushed out by tucking the pelvis forward. Chin tucked in, head floating. Relax and take a few deep breaths. Feel the increased energy throughout the body from the muscles you've just used. And keep it with you.